James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is January 4th, 2024, 5 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had another large earth-facing solar flare and associated coronal mass ejection. This event was generated by Sunspot AR3536, another strong solar flare. Demonstrating its continued potency, Sunspot AR3536 produced another strong solar flare today. The M4 class explosion peaked on January 4th today at 1.55 UTC time and hurled a stream of plasma into space, otherwise known as a coronal mass ejection. Extreme ultraviolet radiation from the flare ionized the top of Earth's atmosphere, causing a shortwave radio blackout over Australia and the surrounding Pacific Ocean. Mariners may have noticed loss of signal at frequencies below 20 megahertz for more than 30 minutes after this flare's peak. This is Sunspot AR3536. You can see that uh, there's quite a few sunspots associated with this sunspot group and its delta class, which means it's capable of producing an X-class solar flare. Moving over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we see that we're still having a polar cap absorption event. And this is ongoing all day long and has been for the last several days. We're also officially in a proton storm and we have radiation seeping in the North Pole and the South Pole and Obviously, the shields must be up because we see that most of the northern hemisphere is being protected. Looks like we did guess correctly. We can see that our shields are up, i.e. blue, and there's been no real events today. Uh, we've had plasma just below space weather threshold of 10 centimeters cubed all day long, and then a sudden drop here. We do see a crossover here. We also have missing time, about two hours of time, hour and 45 minutes of time here. Solar winds have stayed in between 450 and 500 and have gone actually all the way down to 405 now with plasma at 1.24. So basically uh, nothing ever really hit us with any strength thus far. Again, this latest solar flare has a very good chance of hurling the CME towards Earth because it's even more so Earth-facing as it continues to rotate around our Sun. This M4 has been the only notable solar flare coming from our Sun all day long thus far. And we can see the plasma that was shot out of the sun, creating that chrome mass ejection. Uh, it's not quite clear if it's going to have an Earth component yet or not, but we will keep you posted. God bless. Please share. Please subscribe. And always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.